This is the doom, the doom Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace to everybody all over the globe. You're tuning in to The D Show, and we have a special episode. We know that the Quran is a living miracle, and we have a young girl, Maryam. Many of you have saw her. We posted some of her videos on our Facebook page, and many people during the month of Ramadan, she was giving us the Muslims, the eight-year-old little girl was giving the Muslims advice. That's right, so we're going to be talking to her. She's going to recite from the Quran. All that and more on this week's show. We'll be right back. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Maryam on the Dean Show. I'll be right back. This is the Dean Show. 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 This is the Dean, Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Maryam, how are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Thank you for being with us on the Dean Show. You're welcome. You're very busy nowadays. You're seeing you're making a lot of videos, talking about Islam, giving the Muslims, giving people advice out there. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And you're going to also be reciting some Quran for us today? Yes. And giving us some advice? Yes. So how old are you again? I'm eight years old. I didn't want to get that wrong. Eight years old. And you've memorized how many juz of the Quran? I memorized 21 juz from the Quran. 21 juz. MashaAllah. <laughs> so we know that every messenger that came, just for our audience, some who are tuning in who are not Muslim, and they know that every messenger now came with a miracle to show the people. Today, the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, has the, he brought the Qur'an, which was compiled over 23 years, and it's a living miracle. And you've memorized 21 parts of this Qur'an. You, your, is your goal to memorize the whole Qur'an, mm -hmm. inshallah? Yes. So uh, tell us now, at what age did you start memorizing the Qur'an? I started memorizing the Qur'an when I was two years old. Has it, was, it, was it difficult? Was it fun? It was easy and it was fun. So it was both? And who helped you? My mother helped me memorize the Quran. Your mother helped you? Yes. So we also see now that on some of these videos you're giving kids advice. What kind of advice do you like to give to the kids? I want to tell them to recite and memorize the Quran and to avoid listening to music. And now why? Why should they avoid listening to music? Because it's not good for them and it will block them from memorizing the Quran. So no Britney Spears, no rap music, 50 cents, none of that, right? No. Okay, just Quran? Yes. Okay. So you've learned a lot about Islam? Yes. Now, a lot of times we mention a lot of the different prophets. And most people living in America, they know about Jesus. Do you know Jesus? Yes. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Who was Jesus? Jesus was the prophet of Allah. Now, do Muslims worship Jesus? No. Okay, who do we worship? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And who is Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our God. That's the creator of everybody? Yes. Now, you know the five pillars of Islam? Yes. Can you name those? Um, worship Allah. Yes. Um, After worship prayer? Yeah. How does the rest go? Um, um, Zakat, Hajj, and Som. Um, it's okay. Go ahead. Um, you have to believe in the Day of Judgment. There you go. Believe in the Day of Judgment. Tell me more what you know. Keep going. Um, you have to believe in the angels. Yes. And you have to believe in... You have to do Hajj. Hajj, okay. And you have to believe in the prophets. Yes. Beautiful. Tell us now, you're also in what grade are you in? I'm in third grade. Third grade. And what is your goal? What, what are your goals now in life? I want to be an Islamic scholar to give the message of Islam. And I want to be a software engineer like my father in this life. <laughs> MashaAllah. So tell us now, you are also the uh, Quran champion at ICNA. Is this right? Yes. Tell us how was this? Did you enjoy yourself there? Yeah. I was there a lot of other kids who were competing? Yes, there was. And how was it? 
It was good. It was good? And, and okay, so what else can I ask you? I want to ask you, before you give us now, you were, you're going to recite the Quran? And you're also going to, you, you, we've seen some videos of you making du'as, right? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite du'a? Um, du'a Noor. Du'a Noor? Mm -hmm. Okay. So will you, when we come back, you're going to, tell us what you're going to do when we come back. What are you going to recite? I'm going to recite Surah Piyama and explain about it. Okay, that's, that's a promise, right? Because mm -hmm. people are excited now, we don't want them to leave. And when we come back, you're going to recite that for us, inshallah? Yes. Okay, you've heard it here from Maryam. When we come back, you know my daughter's name is Maryam also? She's six. She's got, Maryam, you have, she's got Jiz Amma. She's on her second Jiz, alhamdulillah. She's six, just turned six, but she's got a lot of catching up to do now. So you guys be in a good competition. Mm -hmm. Tell her, tell her, Maryam, you got to study hard now. Tell her, tell her. Maryam, you got to study hard. You have, you have to catch up to me. You have to catch up to me. You hear that, Maryam? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll be right back with Median here on The Dean Show. Please subscribe to The Dean Show. Follow us on our official Facebook and Twitter pages in the links below. Please also help support The Dean Show by making a donation in the link below. Back here on The Dean Show, and with, we're, we're here with our extended family in New Jersey. Can we hear everybody? Tabir! All right. Alhamdulillah. So, there's a special treat. We have Medium here, and most of you know her from a lot of her YouTube videos. So now you're going to honor us with the Quran. You ready? Bismillah. Go ahead. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. I am Maria Masud Lam and 8 years old. Today I will recite one of the most beautiful surah from the Quran, Surah Al Qiyamah.
Recited. During the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the disbelievers asked him, "How will Almighty God be able to reconstruct our bones? When we die, our bones will be disintegrated. Then how will Almighty God be able to put together our bones?" Allah subhanahu wa taala replied. In Surah Al-Qiyamah, verse 3 and 4. Does man think we shall not assemble his bones? Yes. We are able to put together in perfect order the tips of his fingers. What does it really mean when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he will not only reconstruct the bones, but also he will reconstruct the tips of the fingers. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned such a minor part of our body instead of other complex organs? It is amazing to see that scientists discovered fingerprints for identification in the 19th century. Two persons having exactly the same fingerprint is not possible, even in billions. Subhanallah. Allah sent this information to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 1400 years ago. Surely Allah is able to do all things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to read and understand the Quran. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk Jazakallahu khairan wa assalamu alaikum MashaAllah, takbir <laughs> MashaAllah, very beautiful, very good job Is there anything before we go you'd like to tell your parents? You want to say your your mother, your father's here, but your mom's not. Is she here? She's not here. You want to say salam alaikum to your mom? She's watching. You love her. Say salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. <laughs> All right. And there you have it. This is the Quran, the verbatim word of God, Allah. Young kids at age eight are inspiring, and many have memorized it. And she, inshallah, soon will have it memorized, inshallah. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Please subscribe to The Dean Show. Follow us on our official Facebook and Twitter pages in the links below. Please also help support The Dean Show by making a donation in the link below.